Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today we are going to create, 3D pop-up photo slide, like this. So let's get started, before doing anything on After Effects, we have to do some work in Photoshop, as you can see, I have already create a separate layer of our main character. And also create a clean plate of our background image, save your main character image as PNG format, and background image as a JPG format. Now jump into the After Effect, and create a new composition. This is our main comp. Then create one more comp. And this is our background comp. Drag background image into the timeline. Now create one more comp this is our foreground comp. Then drag foreground image into the timeline. So now what we have to do, as you can see this is the end point of our character. So drag the image and align with bottom of the composition. And also adjust the anchor point bottom of the character endpoint. So that if we resize it, then it is from this point. Perfect. Now create one more comp. It's called foreground pop-up. And drag foreground comp into the timeline. And convert this layer into 3D layer. Now go to main comp, and drag background comp into the timeline. And also drag foreground pop-up comp into the timeline. Before we animate this, create a new white solid background. Then create one more solid layer, and change the color little bit gray. and search Venetian blinds effects. Transition completion around 95%. And direction 45 degree. Select both comp layer and convert into 3D layer. Now create a camera. I am using 35 mm preset camera. Then create a null layer and convert null layer into 3D layer, and parent your camera with null layer. Now select foreground pop-up layer, and change the X rotation around 40 degree. Now select orbit camera tool. You can change the camera tool by pressing C on your keyboard. So select Z camera tool, and change the Z position, like this. Now select foreground pop-up comp layer, and go to for view. Now we have to adjust our pop-up image. Make sure, there should be no gap between your pop-up and background image. Perfect. Now we want to animate this, so go to around 1 second forward. Select null layer, and hit P for position and hit R for rotation. And add a keyframe on position, then go to the first frame, and change the X position.
then go to around two and half second forward and add a keyframe. Then go to few frame forward, and change the X and Y position like this. Now select all keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. But as you can see, it does not look like 3D right now. So change the X rotation, like this. You can change the X rotation according to your choice. And add a keyframe, and move rotation key in between, first and second keyframe, then go to few second forward and change the X rotation like this. Let's see the preview. Cool. You can also animate Y rotation, so add a keyframe on Y rotation, then go to few second forward and change the Y rotation like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. Now we want to add drop shadow on our background, so duplicate background layer, and select the bottom background layer, rename it as a background shadow. Then search drop shadow effect. Change the softness around 100%. And distance around 40%. And shadow around 10%. I think we should change distance 70. And softness around 75%. Perfect. Now add an arrow on both sides of the photo, so select pen tool, and create an arrow like this. Adjust the stroke width according to your choice. Convert the arrow layer into 3D layer, and adjust the arrow like this. Now duplicate the arrow, and move opposite side of the photo. Now add some little color correction, so create an adjustment layer, and apply curves effects, and make S curve like this. Perfect. Then add light leak footage into timeline, and change layer mode normal to screen. Our first slide has complete, so select all layer and pre-compose, and move all attributes into the new composition, this is our scene 1 comp. Cool. Now duplicate scene 1 comp, and drag scene 2 comp into the timeline. Now open scene 2 and change the position of null layer. So go to first frame and change the Y position like this. Then also change the last keyframe position. Now we need to change the photo, so go to project window, and duplicate the background comp and replace with timeline background comp. 
Also change this foreground pop-up, go to project window and duplicate foreground pop-up comp, and replace with timeline foreground comp. Also replace this background shadow comp. Now open background comp, and replace with your second background image. Resize it according to the composition. Now open foreground pop-up comp. We also need to replace this foreground comp. So go to project window, and duplicate the foreground comp. Then replace foreground 2 comp with timeline foreground comp. Then change your foreground image. And resize the image according to the composition. Perfect, it's look good to me. Let's see the preview. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.